Ever wondered how to make the perfect burger at home? The quest for the ideal burger recipe is like a gastronomic treasure hunt. It's a journey through a maze of countless variations, each promising a bite of heaven. The secret isn't just hidden in the ingredients, but also the techniques used. Choosing quality ingredients, cooking them just right, and layering flavors with precision, all play a part in creating that flawless burger. Well, buckle up, because today we're going to walk you through just how to do that. Our journey begins at the grocery store. Now y'all, the secret to a mouth-watering burger lies in the ingredients you choose. You don't want to skimp on quality here. First off, your patty, the heart and soul of the burger. You want a good juicy cut of meat. Look for ground beef with a fat content of about 20%. This will give you that perfect, flavorful bite. Next up, the vegetables. Freshness is key here. Crisp lettuce, juicy tomatoes, crunchy pickles, and a sweet, ripe onion. Each one adds a layer of flavor and texture that'll make your burger sing. And last, but certainly not least, the bun. You need a sturdy one to hold all that goodness together. A good bun should be soft yet firm and lightly toasted for that extra bit of crunch. Remember, the quality of your burger is only as good as the quality of your ingredients. So choose wisely and you'll be well on your way to burger heaven. Now that we have our ingredients, let's start with the heart of the burger, the patty. The secret to a mouth-watering burger is all in the patty. It's not just about the beef, but how you handle it. Now, forming the patty is a delicate art. You want to be gentle, caressing the meat into shape rather than squishing it. Overworking the beef can lead to a tough, dry patty, and nobody wants that. You want to lightly shape it into a round, slightly domed disc. This shape ensures the patty cooks evenly and fits snugly in the bun. Next, let's talk seasoning. A generous sprinkle of salt and pepper is all you need. You might be tempted to get fancy with other spices, but trust me, simplicity is key here. The salt and pepper enhance the natural flavors of the beef without overpowering it. Remember, the beef is the star of the show here, and we want its flavor to shine. Now, it's time to hit the grill. You want to hear that satisfying sizzle as you lay your patty onto a hot grill. This is where the magic happens. The high heat gives your burger that attractive, caramelized crust, sealing in the juices and intensifying the flavor. But how long should you cook your patty? Well, that depends on how you like your burger. For a medium-rare patty, two to three minutes on each side should do the trick. If you prefer it well done, give it four to five minutes per side. Keep an eye on your patty and resist the urge to press down on it with your spatula. That's a common mistake that will only squeeze out those precious juices. Finally, let your patty rest for a few minutes after grilling. This allows the juices to redistribute throughout the patty, making it even more succulent. So, patience is indeed a virtue, especially when it comes to burgers. And there you have it, a perfectly cooked, juicy burger patty. Now, doesn't that sound like a bite of heaven? With our patty ready, it's time to get our toppings in order. Now, the toppings are where you can really let your creative spirit shine. To start, Let's get our hands on some fresh, crisp lettuce, juicy tomatoes, and a ripe red onion. Remember, you want to wash these under cold running water before using them. Once they're clean, it's time to slice them up. Aim for thin, even slices. It's a small detail, but it can make all the difference in the feel and taste of your burger. Next up, pickles and cheese. A classic cheddar is always a safe bet, but don't be afraid to mix it up with some blue cheese or even a spicy pepper jack. As for the pickles, dill is the traditional choice. But sweet pickles can add a surprising twist to your burger. Now let's talk assembly. The order of layering your ingredients matters more than you might think. Start with the bottom bun, followed by your condiments. I'm a fan of a good old-fashioned mayo, mustard, and ketchup combination. Then comes your beautifully cooked patty, and on top of that, your cheese. The warmth of the patty will help melt the cheese to just the right gooiness. Layer on your veggies next and top it all off with the top bun. And there you have it, a perfectly assembled mouth-watering masterpiece. Now that's a burger that's ready to impress. The moment of truth has arrived. It's time for the taste test. Imagine biting into a symphony of flavors, each note more tantalizing than the last. The first impression is the bun, lightly toasted, slightly sweet, and with a gentle crunch, a perfect contrast to the soft, juicy patty nestled inside. Next comes the star of the show, the patty. It's a beautiful dance between the rich, savory taste of quality beef and the subtle, smoky undertones from the grill. The texture is divine, 
a tender juiciness that only comes from a patty that's been handled with care and cooked to perfection. Now, let's not forget the toppings. Each one is a character in our flavorful tale, contributing its unique personality. The crisp lettuce, the ripe, juicy tomato, the tangy pickle, and the sharp, creamy cheese. They weave together in a harmonious medley, complementing the beef and elevating the burger to a whole new level. The sauce, oh, the sauce. It's the secret weapon, the silent hero. It ties everything together, adding a final layer of complexity to the taste. It's a delicate balance of sweet, tangy, and spicy, a testament to the effort that went into creating this masterpiece. The burger is a symphony, a celebration of flavors and textures. It's a testament to the dedication and love that went into selecting quality ingredients and preparing them with care. Every bite is a reminder of the journey that led to this moment, a journey filled with passion, patience, and creativity. In the end, it's not just about making a burger. It's about creating an experience, a moment of joy that lingers long after the last bite. It's about sharing that joy, that love for food, with others. And that, my friends, is the true essence of cooking. And that's how to make the perfect burger at home. Until next time, happy cooking.